Hey guys, what's up? This is gonna be my guide to ventilator modes in less than 10 minutes, so let's get started. There's gonna be six main modes that I wanna cover, CMV, AC, SIMV, PRVC, APRV, and CPAP or pressure support. So what does this mean? The first one is CMV or continuous mandatory ventilation. This is an old one that you're really not gonna see that much anymore. In this mode, you basically have the ventilator working and it's just gonna be breathing for the patient. And if the patient wants to take a spontaneous breath, then this machine will completely ignore the patient, right? So this is plus vent and then no patient support at all. For assist control, this is gonna be our most common mode. And this is going to be when a patient wants to take a breath, then instead we'll get the curve like this. And so say that at this point, the patient wants to initiate their own breath, then the machine will give them a full machine uh, delivered breath at that time. So this is plus vent and then plus patient with full breath. SIMV stands for synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation. And this basically is similar to assist control, but when the patient wants to initiate a breath, it's just gonna be a spontaneous breath by the patient. So say we have a couple breaths right here and say the patient wants to deliver a breath right here, they're just gonna take a normal breath that's not machine delivered and then it's gonna go back to uh, the machine breath. So the patient can take a spontaneous breath at any time. One thing to know is that the reason it's called synchronized is that if this breath is close enough to when a machine delivered breath is going to be due. So for example, the machine breath was due here, but then the patient wanted to take a breath right here. Then what the machine is going to do is it's actually just going to synchronize it and they will help give a full machine delivered breath at that time. So that's why it's synchronized. But if there's this kind of refractory period where it's just kind of in the middle, then the patient can just take their own spontaneous breath. So this is plus vent and then plus patient with completely spontaneous breath. One thing to note is that all of these different modes can be run in either a volume control or pressure control mode. So if a patient is on assist control, then you decide whether you put them on volume control or pressure control. And the same thing for SIMV. So somebody could be on SIMV volume control or SIMV pressure control. One of the reasons you may put a patient on SIMV is it's kind of thought as a weaning mode. So say the patient is starting to get better then you want to give them the ability to take their own spontaneous breaths, allow them to work their respiratory muscles a little bit more and help wean them off of the ventilator in comparison to assist control when you know the patient wants to take a breath, it's just gonna give them a full machine delivered breath uh, whenever they try to do that. So that's one of the reasons that SAMV may be chosen. All right, so moving on to PRVC, this is pressure regulated volume control. Basically the way I like to think about this is pressure control but with a target tidal volume. One other YouTuber on uh, YouTube who I highly recommend, his name is Respiratory Coach, uh, also talks about this kind of being a mode where you basically have a little uh, RT inside the ventilator who's kind of titrating things on their own. And so in this sense, it's kind of a nice mode because it's kind of self weaning the patient down uh, or increasing their requirements if the patient needs it. So for an example of this mode, say you say a target tidal volume of 450. So what the machine is going to do is it's going to deliver different uh, pressures and then it's gonna take a look at what the tidal volume is. So say that the tidal volume on this pressure was 600, then the machine is automatically going to calculate that and be like, okay, we actually were over our target there. So I'm gonna decrease the pressure slightly on the next breath and see if that can get closer to our target tidal volume. And so say the next breath is 580 and so on and so forth until it eventually gets to the goal uh, target tidal volume of 450. If it's going in the other direction, for example, our tidal volumes are getting too small, then the machine is automatically gonna titrate the um, pressure to go up in order to reach your target tidal volume. So in this sense, it's a really nice uh, mode because it's kind of what people think of as set it and forget it. It kind of titrates itself, can help wean patients a little bit more quickly than if somebody was just standing there, you know, titrating it manually all the time. But one of the criticisms of this is that sometimes it can leave patients a little bit under supported and there's no clear evidence that there's any benefit over assist control so it's really kind of institution dependent if your institution is going to be using PRVC or not. APRV is an interesting one this is airway pressure release ventilation and basically this is a salvage mode uh, for refractory hypoxemia so if a patient continues to be hypoxemic even though you've been up titrating their settings a lot this is a mode that you can consider. I'm just going to draw a quick example for you guys um, over here on the top right so say this is your pressure over time and this is going to be a normal assist control mode. So say you have uh, a breath here and then another breath here. So this is going to be one second and then four second. 
this would be assist control mode. So if a patient is having refractory hypoxemia, one of the ways that we can actually improve their oxygen uh, saturations is by increasing the mean airway pressure. So think about the, the mean airway pressure as kind of all this area under the curve right here, right? So what is a way that we can extend this in order to provide more mean airway pressure? So th basically we can start changing our I to E time. So we have longer inspirations and then uh, shorter expirations like this. Right? So say this is now three seconds and three seconds. And this is gonna be getting to a mode that's kind of called bi-level. And then going even further than that, say we start extending it fully and we just kind of have them on a continuous inspiration for the whole time period. And then just have a really, really short uh, release breath and then all of a sudden keep it at the same level again. So now your I to E time is something like 4.5 seconds to 0 0.5 seconds. Now this is what we're gonna be calling APRV. And this is really going to, you know, potentially improve their oxygenation because now look at their mean airway pressure. Look how much area under the curve you have. Some other ways that you can think about APRV is kind of like continuous uh, positive airway pressure with release breaths. Or another way that I sometimes like to think about it is you're just giving them this huge inspiration that lasts for a super long time. And then they basically just have a very quick release just to release some of that pressure. One of the things that's interesting with APRV is that the settings you put are a little bit different than with the other modes. So you set a time high and a time low. So in this example over here, your time high is 4.5 seconds and time low is 0 0.5. And then you also put a pressure high and pressure low. And typically you start with a pressure high of like 25 or so and a pressure low of zero. So there's actually no peep. And this is something they may ask you, but one of the concerns is that during the uh, release breath that you're gonna have complete collapse or atelectasis of all, all your alveoli. Uh, but the reason that this works, even with a peep of zero, is that your release breath is so short that it actually doesn't quite get to complete compression of the alveoli and you don't get atelectasis. So one of the key features of APRV is having this really short, quick release breath. If you prolong it too much, then you need to add PEEP. Another thing to note is that the patient can be taking spontaneous breaths on top of this. So that's another uh, cool feature to note about APRV. And then in terms of weaning, you basically titrate the patient down from the APRV mode down to CPAP slowly over time. So say the person starts at a P high of 25, they're breathing spontaneously, sometimes reaching peak pressures of 30, and then you slowly wean down, down to 20, 15, and you can start putting them on CPAP mode where you just kind of have a, a continuous uh, positive airway pressure like that. This mode has not been shown to improve mortality in ARDS, but it is something to think of when your patient is having refractory hypoxemia. You can try it out to see if it benefits the patient. And then finally, you have CPAP slash pressure support. And this is basically when we're doing the spontaneous breathing trials that I mentioned in my previous guide uh, on my guide to ventilators. So this is basically when you're getting them on a spontaneous breathing trial. Uh, and then you transition them usually from assist control to CPAP. But really, once you're getting ready, the patient ready to get extubated, you're going to be transitioning them to this mode. In my next video, I'm going to be discussing BiPAP versus CPAP and how to titrate the pressure support in terms of the inspiratory positive airway pressure and expiratory positive airway pressure and what the differences are between CPAP and BiPAP. So stay tuned for that video. So I hope this was a really useful basic overview of the different ventilator modes that are available. Honestly, for residency, you're probably only going to be using assist control and then CPAP pressure support. But I always found it very interesting when the attendings would talk about these different modes, but nobody really explained it. So I thought it'd be good to have a basic overview for you guys. So you understand kind of what they're talking about when they're discussing these different modes. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.